Hello and welcome to my channel, the place where I take you on RV tours, camping tours, hiking destinations, and much, much more. So today I'm going to take you on a tour of the 2023 Thor Talaro Model 20K. So let's get started. Here is an overview of the layout. Now let's go over some of the specifications. This RV has a 3000 watt inverter, a 190 watt solar panel. It has a 460 amp hour lithium system. The propane capacity is 24 pounds. The fresh water is 27 gallons. Wastewater is 13.5 gallons and gray water is 13 gallons. So there's a long running board along the bottom of it. On top, there's a big awning with LED lights, big window area here in the sliding door, opening window back here, two 110 outlets, a connection for an exterior grill. Moving to the rear, there's a backup camera above bike rack right here on the back doors. Below there are some rear parking sensors. 3,500 pound tow hitch with a four pin connection. And take a look at the clearance. All right, I'm gonna open up these rear doors. Now you do have to watch your head when you're opening these rear doors. Okay, so on the passenger side, you have your storage for your ladder. Down below, we have two 110 outlets, a 12 volt, the water pump switch, a light switch, and your spray port. Below that is the garage area, and there's the spray hose. Now, each door has some netting for storage, and on this door on the driver's side is the top for the ladder. Gotta watch your head. <laughs> All right, moving to the driver's side. There's an LED light over here, right beside the Santi flush, and below is the sewer connection. Over here, there's the sewer hose storage, the city fill, and the water fill. Right below over there is the propane connection. This is the 30 amp connection right here, cable TV, and a solar input. Opening window right up here, and this is your gas fill. Little running board for the driver. All right, let's check out the front. Okay. Now let's check out the inside of this RV. It has a nice accordion style screen door. All right, let's step on in. Little grab handle right here. And this is what it looks like inside. All right, so let's start with the cockpit area. Now I do have to take a step up to enter as well as duck my head. All right, so let's check it out. Now the seat is nice and comfortable. It's a nice, generous sized seat with an armrest. So there are power folding heated mirrors and take a look at the steering wheel. There are some controls right here at the fingertips. Directly in front, there's a digital dash. Moving to the center, there's a touchscreen infotainment center. And below that, there's a wireless phone charger. And right below that, there are three cup holders with a little slot in there that you can stick maybe your cell phone in. Over here, there are four USB ports. And below that, there's a 12 volt. Right in front of the passenger, there's this covered 
glove box on top, a ledge below for storage, and below that there's a lockable glove box. Directly above the driver and passengers, there's this ledge for additional storage. All right, let's check out the rest of this RV. All right, so right above the cockpit area is this headliner shelf with a good amount of room. You can store your window coverings in here or your bedding. Now, these cockpit seats do swivel. So the one here on the passenger side has this pull-out tabletop right in front of it. And it is a good place to enjoy a meal, a snack, and it's also a great place to do some work because below there are two USB ports and two 110 outlets. Great for plugging in or charging your devices. Now this step that you have to step up on to enter the cockpit area has a drawer in it. And they've included this insert as a pet feeder. You can put their food, their water in there, or you can just remove it and use it as a regular drawer. Right above the sliding door, there's the Truma system, which controls your in-cabin heating and hot water, and a couple of monitors for your batteries and the inverter. The sliding door has a large window in it. However, it does not open up and it doesn't have a window covering attached to it. You do have to attach a window covering with the Velcro that is there. Right here upon entering the sliding door is the BM Pro, which is the main controller and you control your lights, climate, check your tank levels, all that stuff. Right below is the master on off switch and the potable water, which is nice and inside the RV and down below is the fire extinguisher. Now let's check out the sofa area, which is right behind the driver's seat. So it's a pretty large sofa and right to the left of me here behind the driver's seat is a mount for a lagoon style table. And this is what the tabletop looks like. And you would just mount that and it would go right here in front of you. So you can use it while sitting over here or swivel the driver's seat around and use it while sitting there. Now they've included this cushion with two drink holders in it that stays nice in place and check out all the windows over here. So right behind me is a nice large window and this side here does open up and it has a nice screen attached to it. Pull down shade for privacy and right above you have an adjustable reading light that you can easily push on and off. There's a speaker right there and there's a light there that you can easily push on and off when needed. Over here is another large window. Now this one does not open up, but it does have that pull down shade for privacy. Another adjustable push on off light. Another one right here, speaker. And this light back here does not have a button to push it on and off. Now I'm going to show you how to convert this sofa area into a bed. Now it requires multiple steps, so bear with me. So I'm going to start by removing some cushions. I'm going to separate these wedge ones from the rest of the back cushions and I'm going to set them aside. I'm going to remove these cushions. Okay. So now I'm going to start by pulling this side out. There's a latch. So you undo the latch and then you pull this out. So I'm going to put one of the cushions down in there. As you can see, there's a little access area and it's actually not closing properly right now, but okay. Let's put these in place. As you can see, there are two lap belts here for the sofa area. Okay, make sure I can grab this. So 
I'm going to next unlatch this one and pull it towards me. Okay. Another area over here. That is storage. Okay. Put this one down over there. And let's wedge these cushions in. The bed keeps sliding. Okay. Ah, there we go. All right, so this is the bed. Lots of separated cushion pieces, but comfort's not too bad. It's a good size. That's what it is. Okay, let's take it apart. So I'm just gonna remove the cushions, push that in, it pushes in nice and easy. I just did it with my knees. So pull up on this, put that back. wedge cushions go back to be velcroed to their respective backrests and there you go that was the bed now when the bed is pulled out this area right here makes a great nightstand you've got some power here there are two 110 outlets and two USB ports perfect for charging your phone at night now when it's in its sofa position, this makes a great side table. You can also easily view the TV, which is directly across. Let's check it out. It does swivel out and it has good viewing angles. Okay, so let's check out this kitchen area. So right below the TV, there's some cabinets and they are flipped down door style. There are two USB ports in there. Magnet shuts it nicely. There's another one below. Okay, check out all this counter space right here. Now, right on the side of the countertop, there are two 110 outlets. Over here, there's a sink with a cover, and it's a good sized sink. Tall angled faucet. On the side of that, there's a covered two burner Dometic cook cooktop. And right here, there's a power port that you just pull up. There are two 110 outlets and two USB ports. So you can plug in some appliances nice and easily. All right, so right in front here are some large windows. So this large window here does open up on the side. You just slide it right across and it comes with a screen attached. This window over here does not open up. So it has this large shade to cover the whole window area. Now right under the upper cabinet, there are two lights with no push buttons on them. Let's move below. The microwave is located right underneath the cooktop and it is convection and it's a good size. On the side of the microwave, there are some drawers. Let's start at the bottom. That's a good size. Same size on top of that one. Same size. And the top one is the same size. Four drawers right there. All right. So now the freezer and refrigerator is located right across. So let's check them out. They are separated. So this is the freezer on top. And check out all that room. That is a pretty deep freezer. It comes with this little ice cube tray. Below the freezer is the refrigerator. And check that out. It's a good size. There are three levels of storage and a couple of bins below. The door has three bins and the top two are adjustable. Now right below this freezer refrigerator area and the countertop area that can be used as a side table or nightstand, there are six drawers. <laughs> Let's check them out. That is a pretty big drawer. 
same size in the middle and same size below. Moving right beside those, also they are all the same size. Now that is a lot of a drawer storage. So let's check out the upper cabinets. So I'm on the driver's side and here's one, two, three. So all three of these cabinets open up into one large unit. Moving over to the passenger side, the one right above the TV has a cable, two 110 outlets, two USB ports, and an HDMI. Right on the side of that, there's two more cabinet doors, and these two open up into one large single unit. Now let's check out the bathroom. It's located in the rear of the RV, so take a look. Okay, I'm gonna step in and check out the space. So this is pretty spacious in here. Got good arm room, lots going on in here. So let's start with these doors. There are two pocket sliding doors and they close shut with this magnet right there. And when you're on the go, you just bungee them in place so they don't slide around. Okay, so over here, there's a medicine cabinet with a nice mirror in front, and it's a good amount of space. They've even included this shelf. Let's check out the shower head. Nice large shower head. It does have some adjustments and a start stop switch. Okay, large flip down sink. So you swivel the faucet over the basin area and you turn it on and use it and the drain is located right over there so when you're done you swivel the faucet away and you drain the water into that drain over there. On the side here there's a light switch for the bathroom and a switch for the fan that is located on the ceiling. Big light up here. There's this fabric shower curtain that you pull around this way. Towel bar right here on the rear doors. There's a covered toilet paper holder and the toilet is a foot pedal flush. Now right in the bathroom is also the wardrobe so let's check it out. That is a good amount of space. There are no shelves in there and there is a rod but it is not removable. Below that, there's some really large drawers. That's the top one. And there's the one below, same size as the one on top. And that's the bathroom. So located right here in the center of the coach on top is a low profile AC unit. And directly in front of that is a power air vent. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tour of the 2023 Thor Talaro Model 20K. Now I love this large sofa area, however transforming it into a bed was pretty cumbersome and difficult for myself. Loved the big kitchen area, lots of storage throughout, not to mention the nice generous sized freezer and refrigerator. The bathroom in the rear was a really good size for a B-Class RV. Now, look at all this space in here. You can really move around in here. I don't feel tight or claustrophobic in here. And I love all the neutral decor. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for lots more videos. Bye for now.